Uh, my name is Caleb Bailston. Um, my senior project was a program for a signpost company that automated their order processing. Uh, the goal of the program was to uh, save all progress even after the program's been closed, include formatting options for their three different types of orders, um, allow data that's been inputted to be formatted into Excel, and allow it to be both manually inputted and then automatically formatted into Excel. Uh, it monitors their sheet progress and creates and numbers the sheets as their orders increases. Um, it formats data exported out of their Access database into Excel for them as well, and it converts it into Excel's format. I also create a web form that uh, can be imported into Excel automatically. Uh, of those core goals, I completed all the Access related core goals of the program saved after importing uh, all formatting options for their installs, removals, and services work correctly. Data can be inputted um, manually into Excel as, as well as imported into Excel. And sheets are automatically numbered created, and created. For Access, uh, we created a Access query that pulled all their information out of Access and then that data is ran through the program and converted into Excel as well. And then I created a basic web form that they can use for submissions online. I also Some of my extra goals that I create, uh, completed were formatting the web form so that it can easily be imported into Access as well, as well as some validation on the web form uh, so it doesn't automatically go straight into Access, they receive it as an email. And you can use the program as one data entry point for both Access and Excel if you wanted to. I'm going to show some usage examples of just how the program works and what they do with it. So first thing at the start of the day, they would just uh, clear the program out, clear all its basic files and everything. And then you can do an import and import uh, this file is their output from the uh, Access database. It looks... It looks like this. Every line is a different event in their Access database for the day. And it, what it ran, it formatted everything and then put them into individual sheets, uh, 10 at a time. They take those sheets and they just import them into uh, Excel. And that's how they do their whole day through Access. It also allows you to uh, import from their web. So if I had, I'll show you the web form. This is their web form. If I had sent an order in through here, they would have received an email. Uh, once you save the email, you can import it as well. I have some saved. It's an uh, install, so it gives additional install prompts because they require extra information on installs. Skip that. And then the install was added to their lists. And then they can add, install or manually input the data as well if they wanted to. So and that would be added on the end of the day in one of those install sheets. Let's see, manual additions. Uh, the design changes, for the most part, the program was exactly how I had it outlined in the beginning. The main focus was shifting it less from manual inputs and importing from the web data and just making it so everything can be done at the end of the day from Access. Uh, the Access query that I set up takes everything that they did for the entire day, so instead of inputting everything manually into Excel and manually into Access. They just input everything into Access, export it out at the end of the day, and run it through the program, and it gives them all their sheets for the day. 
uh, it's currently functional. Uh, it's been deployed. They've been using it for about a week now, and it currently has been working uh, fine. The total time for this project was about 90 hours. Uh, it took less time than I expected to get all the core features done, and most of the additional features that weren't yet implemented were dropped because they didn't meet the uh, main requirement of the project, which was to save them time. It, they would have been nice features, and I wanted to add some of them, but they ultimately would never have gotten used, so they got dropped. And that's the end of my presentation.